Okay, so this is a revision for GCSE momentum. So we're going to be looking at explosions, such as that, and collisions, such as that. Which is very realistic, by the way. Okay, so the important equation to remember is P equals MV. So the P stands for momentum and is a vector. M is for mass and is a scalar. V is velocity and that is also a vector. And remember, it is not speed. It is always velocity. Okay, and so as this says, momentum is conserved. So it will be the same either side of the collision. And that's showing the equation uh, P equals MV, because you've got M and V before equal M and V afterwards. So before and after, before and after. So this is an example which we're going to talk you through. So we define straight away that going right is a positive velocity. You always want to point out which is positive because it's a vector quantity. If it's going left or right, one's going to be positive, one is going to be negative. So first of all, we look at A. We've told the mass is 2 and the velocity is 2. And then we look at B and the mass is 0 0.5 and the velocity is 0. So m1 v1 equals m2 v2. So if we look at mass 1 and v1, we add them separately. So we do 2 times 2, which equals 4. And then to do that, you add 0 0.5 times 0, which is 0. So it comes to a total of 4 kilogram meters per second. So as you can see, that's moving quite slowly. And that's moving a lot faster. So they're still A and B, and they still have the same masses. They haven't magically lost all their mass. But their velocities are going to be different. So A is now at zero, and we're going to work out B by remembering that momentum is conserved. So it will still be 4 kilogram meters per second. But if you do M mass of A times the velocity of A, you get zero. So therefore, all the momentum of 4 kilograms meters per second is in B. So to work out, we do P equals MV, we've got the momentum, we've got the mass, so we do the momentum divided by the mass, which is 4 divided by 0 0.5, which equals 8. So now we're going to give you an example of the explosion. BANG! Okay, the momentum before was zero, as you'll see by the fact it wasn't moving until it exploded spontaneously. Therefore, afterwards, the momentum altogether still has to be zero. But as you'll notice, they went off in different directions. So one of them will have a positive velocity, the other a negative velocity. So when you work up the momentums individually and add them together, they will come out as zero. Obviously, that was a very basic example, and you'd actually have about a million different pieces going off in different directions. But altogether, it would equal zero. And if both parts are the same mass as the smiley face we had there was and they're going off in opposite directions they will have opposite velocities so one might have five arbitrary units per second the other would have minus five arbitrary units per second the end this is now a short piece of advice